Support for City Series Baseball is provided by the Akron Public Schools Career Education Department at 330-761-3131 or APScareers.com. Park for Akron City Series Baseball. Here are the home team on the scoreboard, the East Dragons against the visiting Ellett Orangemen. First offering of the game by pitcher Trey Kakela is inside. We'll run over the lineup for the Ellett Orangemen. Right now leading off is the center fielder Matt Cody. Swings at the second pitch and lines it right to the second baseman. Brandon Sherman makes the play for the out. Cody retired on the line out. That will bring up shortstop Jacob Klein batting in the two hole. Batting in the three hole first baseman Steve Cody. Batting fourth is the DH Joel Bezwetherick. Batting fifth, third baseman Chris Garrow. Batting sixth, pitcher Joe Williams. Batting seventh is the right fielder Zach Davis. In the eighth spot is the second baseman Garrett Haverstick. And batting ninth, the catcher, Dylan Huey. There we go. Klein takes strike one to even the count. Joe Bukanski, Dave Schick. I can't. Peter George this? with you. Carrington Jeffrey. Somerville. Dave is uh, reading a prescription. Yeah. <laughs> reading. Got the lineups. Got some wind blowing. I did not challenge. I did not see that. <laughs> I don't see that. One two count on Jacob Klein. I thought my handwriting was bad. And our spot on the third base line, I'll tell you what, if there's a hot shot, Dave, prepare to get your clipboard up. I'm not sure the clipboard's the clipboard's kinda old. It We're might sitting break. relaxed. I, I think I think one of us is going down today. I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always good to hear. Full count now on Jacob Klein. The battery again for East is a pitcher, Troy Kakela, and doing the catching today, Dennis Horinger. I don't feel safe here at all. Good. Keep on your toes. <laughs> he loses Klein, first base runner for the Orangemen. Line out to second by Matt Cody for the first out, and then you got to do it in pencil. Sorry. I got a racer. Uh, my, my daughter has about 10 of those. Look, this eraser is an octopus. Heads up. Steve Cody up, and he does not get cheated. Klein gets his lead at first. I might save Joe's life today. <laughs> Probably not, because he played baseball. He might save my life. I'm not catching a line drive. I'm just trying to get out of the way. I didn't say I, didn't say I could catch anything. Abandoned ship. Just kind Steps of off, fakes the throw back to first. Well, the water tower is kind of pretty. I mean, like... It's a nice backdrop. Gives it a little bit yeah, of flave. A little more like stadium feel. <laughs> Industrial. That ball up on Cody. Now a 2-0 count. It is not an even outfield, though. No, it's a little tough. It will be tough to see plays in right field. Because yeah. we have a little down slope. Well, and then he's in the shade as well. Mm. Thanks to the aforementioned water tower. See, that was foreshadowing. And also actual shadowing is what it's creating. After having a 1-2 count on Jacob Klein, he has missed with six straight, has Kakela. Bullseye on the 3-0. Cody looking for that one again so he can pull the trigger. Wouldn't be a baseball game with us covering it without snow. A 20 to 25 mile an hour wind now, would it? <laughs> and snow yesterday. 
Nothing says baseball like melted snow. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever done a game here. It is. Ever. Our inaugural game. Our inaugural game. I don't know what that's going to Brings gonna back be. memories. I played here in high school a couple of times. Ah! Big jump. Cody takes for ball four. ball four. He should be up, and he is. No stolen base as Cody walks. Second walk issued by Kakela here in the first, and that's not a good recipe against a good hitting team like the Orangemen. That will bring up cleanup hitter Joel Bezwetherick. Also the ace pitcher on this Ellett staff. In our last telecast we had with them, we saw him deal in a gem as he shut out Firestone by a score of 2 nothing. Bez Weatherick with the big cut fouls it back. No signal there from the umpire that it was a foul ball, but don't worry, we got it. Inside with the fastball, evens the count. Yeah, if you hit a baseball into that water tower, it would ding off pretty loudly. Oh, you hit a baseball off that water tower, and you might get signed tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot further than it looks. I mean, you might hit it to the base. Pop up, and that's going to be right behind us and out of play. We want to see him high. We just don't want to see it seams coming out of <laughs> shins or, and or neck. I don't want to we'll see be fine right here. The seam at all. Just missed outside with the breaking ball. 2-2 two -two now. Good spot there, ball gets away, but no harm. What's up? Can I see positions for them? Yeah, thanks. Yep. East with only three, three seniors out on the field. Curveball misses again, low and away. Full count now. On Bez Weatherick and Kakela really needs to get a strike here. Three seniors on the field, and one of them is not on the mound. That's the freshman. Have a good sound bite for him. We'll get to it here shortly. Kakela oh. comes set, and Bez Weatherick onto the street. Possibly chased ball four there, but pretty close. Fouls it off to stay alive. Runners were not moving on the pitch with one out. See if they send the runners here, keep them stationary. Yeah, big spot for the freshman here. Going against the perennial power and heavy favorite to win another City Series title, Ellet Orangeman. Misses with that one low. Ball for third walk of the inning for Kayla. Now he's going to have to deal with third baseman. Chris Garrow, nowhere to put him. Base is loaded. No, a uh, one out. Excellent play by the catcher. Dennis Horinger. He kind of dove for that one outside and picked it clean on a pitch that was a, a good two feet outside. Nice play by Horner. He stabs another one. Kakela having. Uh oh. Almost lost my. 
You all right over there? No problem. I can't hear anything in this thing. Hopefully you can hear me. Or maybe not. Gets that one squirts through, but it's going to be tough to, to, to advance a base, especially to home with the short backstop. And why would you right now? Right, right now, Ellis going to have to make Kakela find the strike zone. Three walks already here in the top of the first. Ball four, and that will get the run in. A walk in RBI for Garrow. Not exactly how you drew up getting your first run, but he'll take it. Well, I haven't had to do much work because Kakela just having trouble finding the strike zone right now. Got that first out and looked to settle in, but ever since he's had to go to the stretch, he's he's been not comfortable. Working that hole in front of the mound. Trying to settle in. Still one pitch away, though. Double play ball could get him out of the inning. And pitcher Joe Williams looking to help his own cause. Kayla misses low. Now, at this point, you're not, I mean, unless you see something, you're not really swinging. You're making him. As the as the batter, I'm saying, Joe. I mean, he's thrown about 10 out of the last 12 balls. It's got to be right down the middle, like that one. Still take it. Yeah, I think you're probably taking all the way now. Now you can. Do you really see a couple in a row? Now you can green light. Yeah. Ground ball to third, wide of the bag and foul. And, and this is a day you have to make people hit. We got a wind that's kind of blowing in here a little bit. Trust your defense and see if they can help you out. Way wide from the one two offering. Two and two now on Joe Williams. Misses with that offering. There he gets strike three and a big out. Williams caught looking. That looked like a good pitch. Second out of the inning. He battled for that one, but he got it. And if he can get out of this inning with one run, I mean, that would be huge because the negative, he's already made his 30th pitch here in the first inning. Wow. Looked good. I guess it was up. Might need that call just because we don't have lights. <laughs> There's that wind chill. There's that thing. I missed you. That one's definitely up. 2-0 and on the right fielder, Zach Davis. Good heat there. By Trey as he tries to get out of this first inning. Bases juice of Orangeman. Good pitch. They made him reach Davis for it kinda outside of the plate. Yeah, he kind of didn't want to, but did anyway. Didn't get a good swing at it. Didn't look like he's seeing it real well. We'll see if Trey comes back with a uh, doubles up and comes back with another outside fastball. He does. Looks like maybe he overthrew that one a little bit. 
full count and the runners should be in motion here with full count and two outs. Wow. Oh. Unlucky. I guess it was outside. <laughs> uh, I can tell you from here, and it might have been way outside, but from our angle, definitely too close to take. But Davis will take it, and he'll take the second run of the ball game, and five runs have scored, or I'm sorry, two runs have scored on yep. five walks now. Coach out to talk to his young pitcher. A, a mix in a line out to second and a, and a strikeout, and the rest has been walks here. We can play a sound clip for him. Sure. Be of interest to you. Coach, can you tell me a little bit about your starting pitcher and what strengths he brings to the mound? Well, he's a freshman. He's he's uh, pretty new, um, but you know he's got a lot of poise. He plays. You know, like he's older than a freshman. He's got a decent fastball change up. So we're looking forward to him doing a good job today. There you go. And he's not getting any help from having to throw the ball into a, a very small strike zone so far. Haverstick hacks at the second pitch and fouls it straight back. I actually can't. Oh, we've we've done multiple games here for APS 15, but the umpire kind of has like this Mortal Kombat move where you like bring the ball to me. Watch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Get it on camera, Peter. Watch. He's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. He's got the shoulder pads and stuff. Wait. He kind of looks intimidating. He just messed up Kakela there. Yeah, someone's been watching the Mortal Kombat trailer for the new video game a little too much. <laughs> I know. Way to age yourself, but but there's I got a, the there's reference. There's a new right game away. coming out. There is. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 18. Ah, that deep. pitch way outside. Two and one now. On the second baseman for the Orangemen. got my new move now and as has been the story for most of our telegra telecast the, the younger more inexperienced teams inability to get out of the first inning it, it, it's 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 hurt um, I would say the underdogs in each of our games except the one pitcher's duel that we had um, big first innings uh, hit mistakes and this one has been because of of walks 3-2 offering though and Kakela avoids more damage by coming back to strike out Haverstick but after one inning half ending of play five Ellett walks lead to two runs and they lead 2-0 East coming up to bat hey back to action here in the bottom of the first and let's set the order for the East Dragons leading off and playing shortstop Myron Hatch batting second to pitcher Trey Kakela. Batting third to catcher Dennis Horinger. Batting fourth, first baseman Jawan Gonzalez in the five spot, the left fielder Carillion Somerville. Batting sixth, center fielder Lamonte Shaver. Batting seventh is the third baseman Dylan Benefield. Batting eighth, right fielder Jerome Edwards. And rounding out the order in the ninth spot, the second baseman Brandon Sherman as Hatch takes strike one from the battery for the Ellett Orangemen today. Pitching. I got ballpoint pen. I don't have any more pencils. Pitching is. The bag. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. This will work. Pitching today for the Orangemen. Joe Williams doing the catching. Dylan Huey. Williams. Tries off speed, doesn't have a good grip on it. One, two on the shortstop, Myron Hatch. Williams 
the backwards K hatch out looking as he jumped away from that one. They said it got the inside corner for the first out. That'll bring the pitcher, Troy Kakela, to the plate. Kakela fouls the first one straight back. I just had a feeling he'd be swinging after the first inning he had. Trying to help yourself out, right? Yeah. Uh, he probably got a little, a little pissed. He did have, he he did have poise. He just, he like we said when we got in the stretch, he just kind of didn't get in the groove there. Fastball from Williams fouled straight back. Well, and he had, you look at it, of the uh, the first three walks, they were all full counts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it wasn't like he was going out four straight balls. Only one of them didn't have two strikes of couple, anybody. A couple close pitches he didn't get called. Yeah. So he's right there. One of those pitches, a little bigger strike zone. We might not have any runs in the first. Chipping. Yep. Good swing by Kakela. He fouls off the tough off speed pitch. Still right. one and two on him. He's like, if I do this for 10 more minutes, you have the same pitch count as I do. That would be just a nice pen, Dave. Thanks. <laughs> I'd like it back after the game as well. <laughs> ah, that's overrated. Nice pitch right at the knees for the second out of the inning. Back to back strikeout looking for the Dragons. Catcher Dennis Horinger. Or Meat, as his nickname is. Pulls off of the first one. Fastball inside. Evens the count. I'm 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 glad the sun's out, Dave. I don't know about you. <laughs> Makes it a little tougher on Peter, but uh he's a tall guy and he still got it over his head a little bit. Yeah, didn't finish that it was a curveball, just didn't didn't finish it. Chased. Would have been ball three. Two and two now on Horinger. <laughs> Horinger, I'm sorry. Popped off the screen foul. We'll do it again. Ellett comes into the game seven and five overall. East one and six. Ball looked low, but called for strike three. So Williams strikes out the side, and after one, it's the Orangemen two and the Dragons zero. <laughs> Huey, Cody, and Klein do up for the Orangemen. Nine, one, two in the order. City Series baseball right here on APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools Career Education Department. Career education programs are supported by industry-based standards identified by 30 different business advisory groups. For more information about them, visit APSCareers.com. Also, City Series Baseball right here in APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools. Online at AkronSchools.com. Akron Public Schools. Smart choice. Kakela misses with the second pitch to even up the count. One and one now on the catcher, Dylan Huey. Comes back with a curveball and misses upstairs.
control continues to be an issue. Lead off runner on. And the top of the order in Matt Cody. He was the only person to make contact with the ball for an hour. Correct. <laughs> and he could first pitch hacking on a pitch that looked to be outside. Throw to first, Huey back safe. So did you get here by memory or did you use the phone? I use the phone. I, I I would have gotten here though, I think. It was it, I had it right. I just wasn't sure. When I looked earlier it if told it was me right off the road, which it was. Seventy six to get here. And then uh Did you? No. No? Uh, I, I turned it on right before I talked to you. And it had switched it up because of the traffic at the interchange. I got off at Talmadge. Kind of can Does that for you? Yeah. That's awesome. It said it was two minutes faster. Huh. Which was good because. Did it say you might want to get off here? Does it do that? Or does uh, it change it, it midway? It. Wow. O2 pitch, ground ball to first. Get there. Got to get over. That's, that's a pitcher that has to also get over on that. But no problem. Three unassisted on the out. And that's the first out of the inning. Huey advances to second. That will bring up Jacob Klein. Walked and scored in the first. That's what you want right there. Throw strikes, make them put it in play. He does again. There's a ground ball. Fielded nicely at short. And the throw to first. We're going to have a play at third. Oh, good throw. Couldn't dig it out, though. Might have had him at third, but Klein has retired 6-3 for the second out. And advancing on the throw to third is Huey. And for a, a wet day yesterday, the uh, track out there is pretty dusty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will bring Steve Cody to the plate here. Misses in the dirt with the first offering. Cody also walked and scored in the first. Pretty free swinging, big swinging right handed hitter. Hits the ball hard. Takes strike one. Cody takes one off of the back sleeve, I think. I think we've seen that before from him, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I don't think he gets out of the way too often if it's inside. and No problem on that one. That will bring up the DH, Joe Bezweatherick. Two on, two out here in the second. Bizweatherick flails at that first pitch and knocks it onto the road and into the driveway for strike one. <laughs> uh, that could have been a block called. Change the motion. Kind of came set and then separated again, but no call. Count evens up on Bez Weatherick. Now he's, why is he going from the windup? 
that was a mistake and a mistake that Steve Cody didn't go right away on that. When a guy goes from the windup and he should never do that. If someone's on first base because then you can just take off as soon as he starts his windup because as soon as the windup is started, he has to go to the plate. He goes back to the stretch. Nonetheless, two strikes on Vizwetherick and the pitch was fouled off so it was all for not anyway. Goes up high to get that one, and that one's going to fade into left center field. And it is caught. Nice catch out there by Lamonte Shaver. And that will bring the end of the second, or the end of the top of the second. Yeah. Uh, no hit runs the ball and no and hits. They good defense. Yeah. Two more left on for the Orange, but it remains L at two, East zero. Back to action here in the bottom second. Gonzalez, Somerville, and Shaver do up. For the Dragons, four, five, six in their order. Four, five, six. Let's get some hits. Let's do it. Did that rhyme? Close. Oh, there's the wind. You shouted. First pitch hack and hit hard to short. Fielded and thrown over for the first out of the inning. Gonzalez got good contact on that. Good feet by shortstop Jacob Klein to make the play. Peter, you like that first pitch swinging? Aggressive? I thought that with the wind picked up. Whoa. Kind of blows some, blow some dust in the way. Actually, the contact is what I was hoping for. Way really in that. Somerville, the left fielder, the batter, takes ball one. Couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball. This is downstairs with the fastball, two and one on Somerville. And one offering to Somerville. Right down Broadway for strike two. I wouldn't swing at this one. You would. Uh -uh. You would if it was a strike. Fouls that one right off the foot. And even if you don't in that situation, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Uh, but it, it hit. <laughs> oh, it hit. Yeah, it hit right on top of the foot. <laughs> City Series Baseball right here in APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools. Offering a free lunch for every elementary student and a free breakfast for every student. Akron Public Schools at akronschools.com. Three two offering misses inside in Somerville, the first base runner of the ball game for the Dragons as he walks. That'll bring the center fielder, Lamonte Shaver, who made a nice play to end the top of the second. First pitch outside for ball one. Line drive in the hole between first and second. Base hit. First base hit of the ball game. Monte Shaver with the drive. And he's got a little rally going here. That'll bring Dylan Benefield to the plate. Ball high. Somebody's grilling out, partner. Did you get that? 
Uh, I did smell that. <laughs> it sounded like they said Chavez. So I'm wondering if this isn't an. It's a Z. Where? When he hit the ball. I wonder if this is. Oh, that is a. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? It, it is. I can see it from. Instead of an ER, yeah, easy. Chavez. <laughs> like Dodger Stadium. Yeah, Chavez Ravine. Say, Good yeah. hit, Chavez. That was okay. my clue. <laughs> <laughs> Three and zero oh now. Williams run into a little bit of trouble here in the second. I'm running a little bit of trouble here with my headset. I gotta hold it, otherwise I just feel like I'm pulling it the whole time. It's pulling me down, which is good because you know, it's having the glove just takes all the way. Ball four, and the Dragons with the bases loaded here, and one out. Jerome Edwards coming to the plate. Catcher Dylan Huey out to talk to Williams, who's walked two now in the inning. Well, walks have been the story of the day. So have name mispronunciations. Sorry about that, bud. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chavez. That makes sense. Swings it. What would have been a ball? Two strikes. So whatever Huey said to his battery mate has worked well, at least thus far. 0-2 now on Edwards. Edwards, the senior. Fastball way away. Corners in for the Orangemen. They're definitely looking for double play up the middle. No need on that one as Edwards swings through it for the strikeout in the second out of the inning. We'll bring Brandon Sherman to the plate. Second baseman, nine hole hitter. One strike on Sherman. Fastball in the dirt. One and one. Fastball swung through for strike two. Williams one pitch away from getting out of this. And he does as Sherman swings and misses for the third out of the inning. No runs, one hit, three left on, and after two, it remains L at two, East zero. Back to action here in the top of the third. Garrow, Williams, and Davis, five, six, seven in the L at order. Garrow takes ball one. Swinging ground two hopper to short. Nice job coming to get it. Throwing him out is the shortstop. Yeah, that's the second one. Yeah, good feet there by Myron Hatch to come get that second hop. Well, he's had good speed and then a nice arm strength to come across, too. He's playing really deep, but he did a nice job. Of, if you're going to play that deep, you better come get the ball, and he did so. And you better have range. And he showed it on twice already today. That'll bring Joe Williams up. Come on, 
in what trait Kayla needs to learn as a young pitcher is I don't, I don't have to try to be too fine. I can use my defense to make them make plays behind me. Because when he's throwing strikes, he's been fine today. It, it's been the inconsistency to hit the strike zone. Now he falls behind 2-0 and on another hitter. Looks like he's short-arming the ball a little bit. Three straight balls to Williams, who struck out in his first at bat. Williams walks on four pitches, and that will bring right fielder Zach Davis to the plate. Seven walks already. Mm. It'll be tough to survive much longer with yeah. that number. That those will come back to haunt you. Big lead at first base for Williams. Does not go. First pitch misses. Five straight now. Five straight balls this inning for Kayla. Bluffs at first base. Snap throw back, and it was close at first, but Williams gets in safely. Strike called on the pitch. Step off, and they got the runner in a pickle. He's gonna oh, get there. A early, and he dropped it. You gotta, you gotta close down there. Williams. Good base running by we Williams. Well. There. You want to rephrase that? <laughs> Bad well, base running, Bad but base a good running recovery. Start, but he got himself out of it. He almost, he kind of like, uh, he was, uh, it didn't feel like they were closing it in as much as you're supposed to. Kept, kept, kept it pretty wide. And then the drop ball. So William gets the gets the second on the botched rundown. The goal of a rundown partner is no more than one, two throws at the most. So that one had coming, about five. Uh, they're not <laughs> coming hard close enough down. At him? Yeah, you got to close yeah, down. They, they kept the they kept the distance too wide. Tough play. Something that you got to practice, which is really tough to do when you when you're stuck inside with the weather we have, and really tough to do when you have an inexperienced team because you have to practice all the other things as well. You know, bunt coverages, rundowns, first and third situations, those take a lot of time, especially when you have a, a young team that has to work on a lot of other basic fundamentals as well. Two two now on Davis. One out here in the third. Orangemen looking to add on to their 2-0 to zero lead. Fastball, that's going to be about five feet behind Dave. City Series Baseball right here in APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools, Career Education Department, where students can choose from 30 different career education programs. For more information about those programs, hit up APScareers.com. Point, click, learn. <laughs> that is correct. 
Nice pitch. Gets the strikeout. Davis couldn't pull the trigger. Second time we, we saw that happen to him today. Second out of the inning. We'll bring Garrett Haverstick to the plate. Feeling the orange middle coming out a little flat today. Saw it in infield. And then the six walks and the you know, probably haven't helped their, their aggression. Pitching hasn't been as strong, but their their hitting hasn't been. It's almost like the first inning they, they just got on base with walks and now they're for the first time trying to hit get some hits because the balls have been better coming to them. And and I guess you would say Kakela's been more effectively wild than that first inning where he's just playing wild. Not wild there. That one's right down Broadway for strike one. I think I hear the ice cream man. Yeah. The ice cream truck. It could be ice cream woman, man. Uh, ice cream person. It could be, I don't know, uh, uh, grandma. You've, you've, I, who knows? <laughs> Well, woman and man kind of covers all of them. It could be. I didn't know where you were going. What else you were looking for? <sighs> it could be a woman. It could be a man. It could be. You uh, know what? We're, we're out of for. options, Joe. We're looking for strikes. And we just got one. One and two. I came up to the ice cream truck, and there was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that would be really cool if that happened. Uh, <laughs> and scary. Not, not if your kids bought it for a dollar fifty. You thought they were getting an ice cream cone. They came back with a puppy. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 through that. Yeah. And a little creepy, probably. <laughs> two two and two on Haverstick. Bluffs the throw back as it pitch misses. R count runs full on Garrett. Full count, swung through. Frank Akela setting it, settling in a little bit. Two strikeouts in the inning. Leaves the one walk on base, and the score remains here after two and a half. L at two, East zero. Top of the order for the Dragons. Hatch, Kakela, and Horinger. Only one hit so far in the ball game, but it's been sprinkled in with lots of walks. Couple of first inning runs for the Orangemen. East looking to cut into that lead. Two and one on Hatch. Check swing fouled off. <laughs> two two fastball upstairs. Count runs full on the leadoff hitter for the Dragons. Chopper to second, Haverstick fields and throws out Hatch for the first out of the inning. We'll bring up pitcher Trey Kakela. What are you doing over there, man? Painting a portrait? One after the high fastball for the sun's making me just warm enough. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were gonna say sleepy. It wasn't. It is making me a little sleepy. It's just warm enough to like tire me out. Uh, I'm not complaining about the sun right now. I'm not whatsoever. complaining about it. It's just making you me always warm complain. And what are you talking? <laughs> oh, 
0-2 count on Kakela. I was also listening to the colorful language from the basketball courts. Take it all in, partner. The sights and sounds. You of got next? Spring. Yeah, I can take them. I had... I'm not sure I'd I have you. I keep pulling this muscle right you're here. <laughs> holding your leg. Are you going to take the one eyed no, one -legged this muscle guy right over there? Here. Yeah, the one in the chair, he's on my team. Yeah, I'm good. I'll. Nobody's going to guard me. Be like that would man. be a great be like mistake. He can't jump. Like He's actually pretty good. As long as I don't have to rebound or play any defense, we'll be all right. Really, I'm not a very good shooter either, so I just can give you some intangibles. <laughs> Like uncontrollable ball, not uncontrollable, but a little bit out of control, but sloppy ball handling, but it works. You mean turnovers? No, no, not turnovers. <laughs> but like I'll try to dribble through like three people. Turnovers? No, I don't turn it over oh. very often. Except when I just like inexplicably throw it to the wrong team. Oh. Because I'm trying to make a no-look pass, and I, I forgot who wasn't on my team, you know? Yeah. Kakela. Strikes out looking on a tough pitch inside corner. Nice spot by Williams, who has six Ks already. Oranger rips that first offering into left field for a base hit. Second hit for the Dragons. That'll bring up... Juan Gonzalez. Gonzalez sharply grounded out the short stop in his first A-B. Good location by Williams for strike one. Sharply hit the second. Haverstick goes the easy way and forces out Horinger. So one hit. And that's it. As after three innings, it remains L at two and East Zero. Coach, can you tell me a little bit about how your season has gone, the, the good and the bad, ebb and flow? And the ugly. And the ugly, I guess, if you want to say. But give me a little summary up to this point of how it's gone, in your opinion. Well, you know, we're learning. we got a lot of guys that have either just picked up a baseball or are only in their second and third uh, season playing. So, you know, uh, as far as that goes, we're real pleased with the progress of how everybody's coming together and, and learning how to play how to play the game. There it is. And that, that summarizes it pretty well. And that is tough to do. Uh, this is a sport where it's tough to take any time off or uh, be the guy behind some guys that have played seven, eight, nine years already. 2-0 pitch to Dylan Huey, who's leading things off here in the top of the fourth over for strike one. But uh, when you have inexperienced players, it's tough. But so far, they've done a pretty nice job of hanging with the powerhouse of the City Series. 2-2 two and two now as Huey fouls it back. Trey Kakela trying to settle in here. He struck out four, but he's walked seven. Kind of an odd line. You know when you have those kind of lines, though, your pitch count is going to get pretty high, and his, his is up there quite a ways. Another full count, as we've seen a lot of those in the ballgame. Misses with that offering. Second walk of the game for Huey. Bring up the top of the order and Matt Cody. See if anything's on here. Hit and run, maybe a bunt. I think I would have thrown a, a strike in the strike zone somewhere. 
when? That last pitch. I think he tried to. It, <laughs> it wasn't in the strike. I know, but Cody first pitch hacking, and he gets into one, hangs up in this spring air. My springish air. <laughs> Cody's hit the ball hard a couple times, but nothing to show for it. That will bring Jacob Klein. He's walked and grounded out. Gets ahead. Misses with the 0 1 offering to even the count. Jacob Klein, slick fielding shortstop for the Orangemen. Looking to get them going. Throw to second. Not in time, and it gets the base runner in the head. He's fine, though. Stolen base for Huey. Runner now in scoring position for Ellett. Still looking for their first hit in the ball game, partner. Not to jinx our pitcher. Uh, but yeah. he does have a no-no going. <laughs> <laughs> does it count if you've walked eight and hit one? Yes, it does. I haven't seen in the major leagues where guys have thrown no hitters and lost. He's going from the windup, which you should not do there. No, Alec coach just said that. He said he should. As soon as he goes, should have been Huey. Should have been watching. Go. As soon as he did it. Not yet. Go. Why did? Yeah, that's as soon as he goes wind up, you got to go. Klein walks, ball four. First and second. One out and three hole hitter, Steve Cody. He's walked and been hit by a pitch. Wow, that looked good from right here. And by good, I mean that was a strike. I can tell you from my perch uh, about 80 feet away that that was a strike, <laughs> Dave. I could have probably told you from behind the water tower that that was a strike. <laughs> Fouled off, evens the count, one and one. I love it when the wind doesn't blow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it stays nice and warm. Still got about two jackets on, though. <laughs> so just that warm. And with the pace of this one, it might be two more batteries and two more hours. As it. <laughs> I am afraid when that sun goes down. You might be afraid, but the. The pace here is more indicative of a golf league at Goodyear at Good Park and not a baseball game right now. <laughs> a lot of balls, a lot of walks. Uh, not many quick innings. See, they got to go right now. Wow. Misses away. Another walk, and sooner or later, partner, these walks are going to doom 
had a painted uh, strike zone up there. You go home. You, you go home. Put it in the Joel Bez Weatherick. No place to put him. Nice. And you look at last inning, finished the inning off with two straight strikeouts. But that was the third, and the first struggled with four straight walks. Wow, he's on back to Ten back. walks right now. And that's why we're only in the top of the fourth. <laughs> A lot of pitches. That one bullseye for strike one. Count evens up on Bez Weatherick. Ellett seemingly a gap shot away from kind of breaking this one open. Bez Weatherick drives it to left field. And it's overran. And that one drops in. Misplayed in left field. That one will go as a uh, for Bez Weatherick will give him a sack fly, a sack in the RBI, and then he reaches on an E7 because that ball should have been caught. Deep enough to score the run, so we will give him the RBI. That will bring Chris Garrow to the plate. Base is loaded, and there for the first time, the defense let down the Dragons. No hitter would still be intact, though, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Two and zero oh now on Garo. One out here in the fourth. Three nothing. Orangeman lead. What? Yeah, it's a strike. Turn two. Turn two. NASCAR throw roll, slow roller. You go home. All right. Hard, hard, good throw. Up, up. Foul, fall, fouled away. Two, two now the count. The Orangemen have already left six guys on base, partner. The base is loaded here. Would like not to do it again, I'm sure. Mm. I'd like to blow this thing open. Just haven't had much swinging opportunities with all the all the walks, and when they have, they just haven't come through. That one's going to drop Fair. in. Is left fielder was playing about 400 feet. <laughs> Throw into third, and it's in there. So Garo, with the first hit of the ball game, gets two ribbies. Right there, carry on. Right Buzz Weatherick advances to third. And we'll see if that gets the Orangeman going here. Second and third, one out, and pitcher Joe Williams to the plate. Big hack by Williams, swings through it. And if you look at if you look at the score sheet, what scored? Walk, walk. The walks have come walks, back to, to finally. Coming. They always do. It's it's taken a while today, but they finally have gotten the young caught up with the youngster here in the top of the fourth. Five zero now, Elliot. Joe Williams looking to give himself some insurance on the mound. That pitch, where's that at? And yes, he's he has been all over, but he, this is not 
conducive for getting out of here before dark on Pirate Strike Zone. Yeah. Ball ripped down the line. Foul. I think. Peter, did you see it? 2-2 two, two now on Williams. The strike zone in this game is the equivalent of doing a, uh, I don't know, middle school CYO game and, and calling it uh, a whistle a second. You know, calling it like it's the seventh game of... Oh, nice play by Kakale on a, on a jam shot that was kind of in no man's land. Nice sliding play by Kakela for the second out of the inning. Keeps the runners. Wasn't sure how he was going to die, but kind of slid on his knees for it. That's the kind of lots of times you see you see somebody die for, and then you have a problem. Looks like a pinch hitter here. You got? Do you have the whole lineup or no? Uh, <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> Maybe. Is he 17? Nope. No. 13. No. 13. Let me uh, let me dig I'm, up one I'm of the old rosters. Through, yeah. Well, you got him. Yes, I do. I'll let you dig. Through. How about William Harkless? Boom. How about that? I'm so organized. Harkless, not small. Look at, <laughs> pretty imposing guy to bring off the bench. I brought their senior off the bench. That's nice of him. And the freshman says, I'm going to get ahead of this guy. And he does for strike one. Harkless pinch hits for Davis. He should get ahead. He's about half as tall as he is. Nice block. Hoinger doing a nice job behind the plate. One and one to count on the pinch hitter. Swings through it. Curveball, caught him looking. Nasty pitch by Kakela. But the walks lead to three runs, and Ellett stretches it out here at the top of the fourth as they now lead five to zero. Back to action here in the bottom of the fourth. Somerville, Chavez, and Benefield do up. Somerville walked in his first appearance. He swings and misses at the first one. Good enough, you don't need help. East looking to try to get on the board here. Two hits so far for them. They've actually out hit Ellett, but about 10 walks have come back to really hurt, as, as, as they might do. Somerville strikes out looking. That is the fifth strikeout looking, seventh overall for the Dragons. Monte Chavez now the center fielder. Made a couple of nice plays in the outfield. 
He singled in his first A-B, and he takes ball one low. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah. Uh, I had my family's Easter on Sunday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a good two weeks behind. <laughs> had, to wait, had to wait for uh, hey, tax season to end. Yeah, hey, like Heinz ketchup, good things come to those who wait. Why are you waiting so long for ketchup? I don't know. It's just the, it's, it's the slogan, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that'll be good. Sunday That's this weekend, or that was last weekend? Yeah, it's this forthcoming. Okay. Oh, nice hit. Ball ripped to short. Oh. Nice backhand. Thrown over. And the first baseman can't handle it. Ball hit hard, but ball should have been squeezed at first. That'll go as an E3. Sunday I have my playoff game for my basketball team. We play the we're second seed. We play the third seed. Only four teams in our <laughs> conference. So that's nice. Uh, two and three, we're pretty. We've won all three games, but they've all been pretty close. Ooh, what are they going to do anything different this time? They come out uh, with a zone defense or what? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see. <laughs> My last strategy worked pretty well. They have Are you the player coach? Yeah, I'm the only person that thinks anything about basketball. <laughs> it's like, you know, when you see something, you try to explain to other people, they don't see it yet. They're like, what? Why would I do that? Runner goes. Ooh, made it. And a good jump there. Chavez steals second. But uh, no, last time we played him, first time we played him was really close. Second time, I was like, there are two point guards. I was, I said we were going to full court press them the entire time. Not their entire team, just those two guys. They only put one in at a time, so I would just go from one to the other. And then. And you got to press them? I, well, that, I would tell people to press them, but no one would do it, so then I would just <laughs> do it. Why are you pressing? What kind of defense do you guys play? We just play man oh, okay. defense. But, just, a, just, a, just a tire, but I would or did it turn them over? I would press him because the rest of the guys on his team can't dribble that well. So they had about 10 turnovers in the first half because they didn't have their point guard bringing the ball up. Oh, I didn't think He's so. not out until you tag him. But he is now. Strike three is Benefield chased ball four there. That will bring Jerome Edwards to the plate. Edwards takes strike one. And Joe Williams, he is definitely doing his part on the hill here. Eight strikeouts and counting. Trying to make your pick for player of the game a pretty easy one. Well, it's easy right now because there's been very little offense. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> if you're looking for an offensive and pitching, strike, strike out swing. Wow. Williams strikes out the side and leaves a runner after an error, but after four innings of play, it's right, L at five, E zero. Yeah. 
on after some technical difficulties with the equipment our microphones and just when you were starting to miss us we're back there we go suitcase just like that see how easy that is i haven't been paying attention so joe what happened <laughs> Are we back? That's what that's what the man what okay. the camera says. I mean well, he's Peter the man. Trust. Well an infield single by Garrett Haverstick as he put beat out a throw to the third baseman. Started the inning. Haverstick stole second and Dylan Huey just flew out deep to left field. And that's where we're at. One out in the top of the order and Matt Cody up. He fouled off the first pitch and he rips the second pitch. Gets that one to go. Runner holds up at third. Cody makes up for a couple smashes. He doesn't hit that one as hard, but placed much better for his first hit. So two hits in the inning. First and third, and that will bring up Jacob Klein to the plate. Walk twice and score twice. Here, do it with me, Joe. Ah. It's kind of like a half. Hata. I know. Runner goes. No throw there. Well, actually, the throw was almost high back to the mound. Cody goes into second base for the steal. So first and third, a chance for Klein here to Add on to the lead. Takes that fastball for a strike. Well, it looks much sharper here in this inning. We see in the first two to start the game. Ground ball, the third. And Klein called out at first for the second out of the inning. I think he beat it, partner, but I think he thinks he beat it. But gets the RBI. Cody to third. And that will bring up Steve Cody. Cody's walked twice and hit by a pitch. He's looking to swing the bat here, I think. 
Come on, Steve. I gave I gave you the nice setup, <laughs> and you had a perfect pitch to hit. My headset's kind of blowing around on me. <laughs> Problems with the shades on. I think it must be that long blonde hair you have, Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just waves. Right. The wind just catches it. That's it. Just glistens in the sun, says Mrs. McCanty. <laughs> Two and one on Cody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glistens. Yeah. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> Cody takes that one upstairs for ball three. Has your wife ever watched you play baseball? Yeah, when I was younger. Oh. It less less as we had, much less as In much less world. after we were married. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think it wears on you when you play it and coach it. And Cody fouls that one back. It'll be a full count now. But yeah, she's went to. She's put her time in trips and yeah, certain, certain games. Less frequently as we got older, and I kept playing. Even after I probably should have hung it up. <laughs> Good reflection. Yeah, I mean she's goes to all the kids stuff, of course. But yeah, she used to watch, especially like when we were dating, she'd go, not all the time, but enough. Coach out to talk with his player. We'll see if he makes a change. Got first and third here, two outs. And Bez Weatherick to the dish. Gonna stay with this young freshman. Give him another batter here, see if he can get out of this. 6-0 Ellett. Ellett's with a couple a couple of hits and a walk in the inning. Threatening for more. Bez Weatherick drove in a run with a sack fly and he actually reached on an error. Also has walked in the ball game. And he rips the first shot right at the first baseman. Probably the hardest ball's hit of the day, but a nice play over at first to end the inning. Ellett adds one more, and they're up six after four and a half. And we're back. Joe Williams still dealing it out. Gets his first strike. Brand, Brand Sherman. Yeah, there you go. You got it. I was taking my time like this game is. <laughs> yeah. Just taking my time. With I have plenty of space to fill. You ever feel like we're, we're those two guys from the Muppets in the corner? All the time. About every sporting event we do. What were those guys' names? Peter probably remembers. Oh. Muppets guys. <laughs> Dreaming? This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you call this a game? I call this a shame. <laughs> I don't know why we're always back here. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, does that make? Who's the bald one? Is that you or me? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. Uh, well, I enough think it's said. Enough probably said. Probably me. Enough we'll said. see if you have this much hair when you're 40. Come back or to the mound, Williams. Throws it over, and Hatch is eliminated <laughs> <laughs> for the second out of the inning. <laughs> that will bring up Kakela to the plate, and I, I don't want to jinx it, but this is the kind of this is the kind of quick inning we're looking for here, partner. Uh -huh. One way or the other, I don't care if they hit. I just I like pace. That's why I like what Major League Baseball is doing to try to quicken up the games. The problem is I don't think it's helping. 
and they just find other places to waste time in. Well, the pr the problem the problem with baseball is it doesn't it doesn't fit in with our society today. It, people get bored with it because it's too slow for them because people have attention spans of about ten seconds. <laughs> oh, you can bring your phone to the game, yeah, and people <laughs> surely do. Well, I was at a conference today, and a math professor said, if you want to do, of course, it was a math professor, okay, so take it <laughs> for what it's worth, but he said, if you want to do your kids the most justice you can, take away all electronic devices, because it, it's used as a substitute for thinking. That one actually got Kakela hit by a pitch, and that will bring up Dennis Horinger, who is one for two. He ripped a single into left in his last plate appearance and just as soon we as we said Williams was having his first one two three inning to the first he hits the batter promptly big lead over there at first for Kakela he's back sliding safely I would I would like to know whether this uh, math professor has any children himself uh, he does one he has one that's at the college right now and what he also told him is he doesn't care what he majors in, but he's going to take as many math courses <laughs> as he can. So. <laughs> so he's got one. <laughs> Coach Sarver out to talk to And as we said, the ending was going fast. Sorry about that, Peter. Akron City Series Baseball right here in APS 15, supported by Akron Public Schools, offering the Universal Breakfast Program to ensure a free breakfast for every student. Akron Public Schools at akronschools.com. You didn't even look at that, did you? No. You are. <laughs> you're a wily veteran. There, it's there just in case I got lost. Well, I think we ran. Well, we, I think I read zero spots the first two games, so I got. Yeah, go that's not true. You read a couple, <laughs> but we might be a little behind. Uh, a little bit. What I would probably say is, uh, we're up six nothing. Can you please go get the hitter? You got him. And, and we have a double. He's oh, out. Oh, he's out at second base. So yeah, the caught stealing out. will end the inning. Kakela thrown out. And after five complete, it remains L at six, East zero. Hey, back to action here in the top of the sixth. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Thank you, Joe. Yep, I'm oh, on I was going to have to do it. So, that's a... Uh, Black Eyed Peas, right? Oh, correct. Yes, sir. Sorry. Into pitch for the Dragons. Number 40, Jerome Edwards. I got a sound bite when we have a little break in this inning. Whenever you're ready. Ready. Game. We look at your team. Um, who, who's, someone, who's someone that surprised you so far this season? And how how has he surprised you? Well, the guy I would say was Carry on Somerville. He, this is his first year playing baseball, and uh, you know he's he's a real good athlete. So he was able to uh, pick up things real quick, and you know he's been starting in left field since day one. And uh, you know we have no worries. He, we, he's, he's moved up to the order, started at you know seven, eight, nine, and now he's up to five. You know, he hits the ball hard, hustles, does everything we ask him to. But, you know, for just picking up a ball this year, he's done a really great job. That was the East Dragons coach. And as per usual, whenever you have a sound bite, we have action. It, it works good, though. I mean, uh, I just needed, I need to get about 25 interviews. <laughs> Chris Garrow lines the ball. Throw to first base, knocked down at first base, luckily, because that one would have probably had Garrow go all the way to third, but the first baseman for East, Juwan Gonzalez, knocks it down. Garrow lined the, the hit into right field. He's now two for three on the day. 
jam sandwich is scooped at third. And Williams beats it out. Nope. That's going yep. as an error. Kind of a tough, tough play. Tried to get it in the air and didn't get it, but that'll go as an E5. Garrow to second. Williams at first. And Harkless in his second AB now. Harkless came into the game, pinch hit in the fourth inning and struck out. Second chance here. And he gets plunked. <laughs> That will bring Haverstick to the plate. Haverstick first pitch swinging, and I'm glad it was over our head because that was, I didn't have time to move. One and one count on Haverstick. Can't quite stay back. He pulls Dude, it he over again this way. Don't aim for us. <laughs> Edwards looking to get that first out here. Ball upstairs, two and two now on Haverstick. Another one fouled over this way. Sometimes a slower pitcher like Edwards, one time through the order, can be effective because it messes with guys' timing. <laughs> Just misses with that one. Count full on Haverstick. Nowhere to put him. Bases full of Orangemen. Haverstick drives another one foul almost to the basketball court off the wall. Got to turn the field around. Well, he's on about every other pitch. It looks Ball. like Dave Schick's uh, golf swing here right in the middle of the next fairway. You can just hit it back in. And that one he, he straightens out. Oh, left fielder misplays it. It looks like he had it. That one's going to go for a two-run double for Haverstick. Should have ran the last one in, too. Mark, first step is back. First step is back. Don't matter. Second and third now. And Dylan Huey to the plate. He hits it up the middle. And it's missed. How many runs we have? Shortstop Kakela had a chance at it, but didn't get it. Uh, now we have four. Just like that, double digits. That will go as an E6. And the defense that was good earlier in the game has let them down here. Two errors in this inning. Three overall for the Dragons on the day. And that will bring the top of the order. And Matt Cody. Cody rips that one. The second chance to turn two here maybe. They get the lead out. No play there at first. Should have ate that. But they get the fielder's choice. Huey retired for the first out of the inning.
We'll bring Jacob Klein to the plate. Klein 0 for 2 on the day, scored a couple of runs. Klein fouls that one. Off the tree. That looked more like my golf swing there, or at least the result of where the <laughs> golf ball likes to go. Off the tree and back into play. I could be on the expanse where there's one tree, and I can split it right off the middle of the bark. <laughs> I always hate that first tee. Everyone's standing there waiting. I do, too. It's like, I'm clang, all right, I'll walk I'm down. like, I need to get walk off down the fourth tee where I can hit a second ball or I can just forget about one if I hit it in somebody's driveway. Oh, and then when you're playing and the house is close by and you're like, oh. don't hit the house. Then you're, you're so conscious of not hitting the house, you hit it like four feet. I hit, yeah, I hit it onto their deck. That's usually what happened. I remember I was playing right before my, I don't know, for some reason I was playing with my brother-in-law right before my wedding, it was like the day before my wedding, and I hit a snap hook, and we couldn't see where it went, but we could hear it. It hit one of those old fiberglass backboards in somebody's <laughs> house. It sounded like the house exploded. Hit it hard, just not straight. Speaking of hitting it hard, Klein blasted up the middle. And now the Orange in here got it going in the sixth. Three hits in the inning. My last one was uh, we played at Geneva on the lake. They have a, a golf course there. And they have like cottages kind of off to the, the right side. Mm -hmm. and, and they're all, I mean, they're screened in and so forth, they get, you know, so they can come out and not get pelted. And they're like, from where the the tees are, they're almost like directly to the right. And I hit this ball, and it just doesn't it doesn't go forward. It goes directly right, and it just nails it. <laughs> it goes bang, like hits one of the wood yeah. frame pieces, <laughs> and everyone just starts la just bursting out laughing. Like anybody that was asleep in there is now awake because you just nailed it. I mean, as if you would turn like most people would have to turn and just hit straight at it. You're trying to hit straight, and you hit it sideways, and it just nailed it. Like, I got thanks, guys. Appreciate I got it. new clubs. Can you play left-handed too? Yeah. I got new clubs a couple of years ago. As Steve Cody comes to the plate, just looking to swing the bat, he's walked three times and also been hit by a pitch. I got new clubs, not new, but gently used. I mean, really ni nicer ones that I had. Affordable clubs. At a gl garage sale a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play a little bit more than I you know, I have not used them on a golf course yet. <laughs> it just it just so happens I had plans to play and then we're playing my kids and being in mall. Yeah, we're gonna play for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you. We're playing. We're gonna do like a oh we won't we'll do nine. We'll do we'll an do, we'll do nine and then we'll do lunch because we ain't doing eighteen. We can do eighteen if we we'll cart. Too lazy. We gotta cart though. We yeah. could probably have to cart anyway. Yeah. I I, I, have I, a, I have a beautiful pool behind that I've used about six times. Oh yeah? Yeah. I won it at some corporate I got place. a nice bag. It came with my new clubs. Nice. Peter, you play? Yeah, yeah no. We'll play. He plays enough. We're in. You're in. He made the face like I might kill a couple trees, but yeah. we'll, we'll we'll make sure we don't play where there's lots of trees. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play like a Monday afternoon. That's it, man. That way the squirrels have forewarning. Oh. That one hit a mile high. That should be in for a fly roll. Okay, called it a little late, but he got it. That is the second out of the inning, and the sun's getting tough here. From our vantage point, not so much the players because it's in the outfield. <laughs> so Cody pops that one up to shoot for the second out, and that will bring a pinch hitter. And we're going to have to look through our notes. Number five here, partner, you got? No. He had a great hit down the uh, first baseline. Yeah. We'll have one run come in. We'll have a second one come in. Oh, I would have sent him. Didn't need to, but you could have. One run, more run scores. Yep.
And the Orangemen have batted around here in the sixth. That's a double. We, yeah. And first pitch popped up. Looks like we'll have room at first. Oh, overruns it and can't hang on. Garrow fouls that one off. He has new life. Garrow started the inning with a single. Five runs in here in the sixth. As the Orangemen have stretched this thing out. Took him a little while to get going. He's got another shot at it. Oh, that one just goes over. Yeah. The one and two now on Garrow. He rips that one to short. That one eats up Kakela. Two more runs come in. What do you think on that one, partner? Uh, I think it's a hit. I don't think he would have got it. Yeah. It was just so a good two hits hit. in the inning, and and Chris Garrow now with four ribbies in the ball. He's making a push, partner. Yeah. Five ribbies in the game for Garrow. You picking the player of the game or not? That's it. I just picked him. Chris, <laughs> Chris Garrow. <laughs> All right. Hey, three hits, five ribbies. Three for four with five ribbies. We'll give it to him. Oh, you got seven runs in the inning. You got five RBIs. Ball upstairs. To Joe oh. Williams, We're not. who might have something to say about that with his nine Ks he's had, I believe. Is it nine or is it more? Three, five, eight. He has nine Ks. I think his night might be over. I saw somebody else warming up as Williams tried to take a nine iron to the basketball court, but fouls it back. Seven runs in in the inning. Ellis hit the alarm clock and then some. That ball also ripped. Great nice catch, catch in the field. outfield to end this one. But the damage done here, a seven run sixth for the Orangemen. And they put this one pretty much out of reach as they lead 13 to zero. Hey, back to action here in the bottom of the sixth. And coming up are the order for the Dragons in their last chance here, down 13. Oringer, Gonzalez, and Somerville. New pitcher into the ball game. Ryan Franklin for the Orangemen, trying to close the door here. Dustin Franklin. I'm sorry, thank you. Dustin Franklin. Joe Williams nights over. In five innings pitched, he gave up no runs on two hits, walked two, and struck out nine. Franklin comes set, and he fires low. Horinger, one for two on the day with a single. Good spot by Franklin to even the count. Swings through that one for strike three. Good heat by Franklin. Tenth strikeout for Ellett pitching. A 
That will bring Juwan Gonzalez grounded too short and also grounded into a fielder's choice. He swings through the first one. I don't think you said his name incorrectly yet outside of our I know I, we meeting. were concerned that we might say Juan Gonzalez because he played for the Tribe among, and the Rangers and the Tigers. <laughs> There's a couple other teams. Ground ball foul over this way, but we've been safe so far. Don't say that. I'd rather have gotten something hit early when I was warmer because I don't think I can move real fast right now. I don't think I can move there, real fast there at any a, point. There was a lull between like the third and fourth inning. I was barely awake. I know. I was pinching you. Gonna write a new permanent marker. Oh, <laughs> I could tell you what happened in those innings if you'd like. There's much more uh, noise walk, here walk, now. Walk, 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 walk. The walks were a plenty for the Orangemen early in this one. Oh, that ball is crushed. Wow. Deep. Gonzalez got every bit of that one. And if we were playing it at some parks, that one might have gone. But Gonzalez crushes a one-out double. Good two-strike hitting. Kirill in Somerville now to the plate. He's walked and struck out in his two appearances. Is he is the umpire clean the plate all day? You can't have anything out there. Huh? He has to now though. I'm not he? sure Peter can even see the plate right now. I need it. Yeah, we have, we have a seat, gentlemen. We gotta be able to see the plate. East Dragons uh yeah. We're <laughs> getting their time. Somerville takes the fastball a little bit low. Two and oh on Somerville. Franklin comes set and finds the strike zone. Two and one. Swung through that one for the second strike. No runs, three hits, four errors in the ball game for the Dragons. 13 runs, nine hits, no errors for the Orangemen. Nasty curveball in the dirt, tagged out for the second out of the inning. And now it's up to Monte Chavez. The last hope today for the Dragons. Monte has one of the three hits in the ball game for East. Also has a stolen base on the day and a couple nice catches. He's put himself together a pretty good day. You know what I'm saying, Dave? <laughs> yes, Joe. We're studying. As nice a day as you can have down 13. That's, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he would trade all those for going into this last inning up for a win. I, 
Yeah, I would hope. I would hope that to be the case, for our partner. Franklin is bringing it. One more time. Samurai, strike. Curveball drops over for the second strike. Want to congratulate our player of the game. You got him? Yeah. Chris Guerrero and Joe Williams. Oh, you're giving two, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, for Garrow and Williams, Garrow again, three for four, five RBIs on the day. Williams, five innings, got the W, and had nine strikeouts in the process. So congratulations to those two gentlemen. That closes the door on this one, partner. Uh, for the Orangemen, they go to 8-5 and five on the season. 13 runs, 9 hits. They had one error. East finishes with 3 hits. And congratulations to Ellett as they get a shutout by the score of 13-0. to zero. That's it. That'll do it here. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's thank all the people that make this one possible for Ryan Dumont and Peter George. He's Dave Schick. I'm Joe Pekansky. Thanks, and we'll see you next time at the ballpark.